Okay, uh, let me introduce myself. Um, my name is uh, Jordi Iksam Aido, and I'm from uh, Institute, Te Institute Technology Na National Bandung. And then in this video, I'm on the uh, the op op opposite side, and the motion is this house. This house would, would ban all production and consumption of meat. Okay. Um, talking about uh, production and consumption of meat, and there's a lot of issue uh, these days talking about um, how uh, meat industries uh, contribute con con contribute to uh, climate change, and then uh, is uh, there's a, the industry is uh, taking a lot of uh, resources, and then I would like to disagree with that because uh, the first point is we can't feed everyone with just a plant-based food, and we were talking about like uh, the the strength of the uh, healthy food, and some people believe that um, everyone ditch meat in uh, favor of plant-based food. So uh, we, we could not have enough to feed our planet and ever growing up, uh, ever uh, growing population. It is a valid concern that uh, there are a lot of, uh, like a lot of uh, human in this planet is almost 7.5 uh, billion people live in this planet. <laughs> and uh, if if reducing meat consumption is uh, so important for sustainability and uh, food production uh, efficiency, so what is not why why it is not uh, a lot of uh, country in the world doing the same thing? It is because uh, they can't force everyone to uh, just eat uh, plant based food. Yeah. <clears throat> Because uh, there's a lot of people in this planet, right? And then you, you, you can't just uh, prohibit people to consumption of the meat. And also um, a lot of people, especially from outside the uh, outside the, the big city, and they they don't have like uh, uh, like uh, farming. They can they they they, they can. Uh, they can uh, plant uh, some vegetable and then maybe they just uh, have to hunting and also and also my second point is uh, to it, it, uh, it if uh, the world ban all, all production and consumption cons consumption of meat uh, I uh, it is it, it is will causing it that mean uh, it will remove the wheels of the economies and if you're using because uh, cha changing eating habits can seriously uh, disrupt the exciting uh, of the economies and this this would wipe out jobs across food chains that really on uh, meat as a corp corp Core, core part of their product and appeal from farmers to manufacturing and to retail and then to uh, uh, to the people who eat the food. So people also like to eat uh, meat in many, in many countries, insist that uh, meat is a part of their regular diet and then cons consumption of meat is the main ingredient of uh, the most national dishes from for example, um, the food from South Korea is named bulgogi, and then to uh, match bowls in uh, Qatar. And for many people, meat also remains the, the easiest and the most delicious way to consume uh, a lot of protein. And also, uh, if we take a look to, for example, to Indonesia, and a lot of people like a restaurant and then um uh like a small uh, like a small uh small uh company in, in our in our country that they are a lot of them serve um meat as their uh, main dishes as their main 
main meal. And if we if we remove the uh, meat and if we ban meat, all the meat production and consumption, it will uh, take a significant. It will make a significant uh, impact to our economy because um, a lot of uh, farmer companies they can't survive, and then they they have a lot of uh, employee to to. Uh, uh, to to uh, to move the economics wheels, and then and then also um, I have a um, uh, number point number three is that mostly people uh, can't contribute to climate change these days. Is uh, if we are talking about the meat consumption, there's a lot of issue that uh, it will. Uh, have a lot of impact for uh, our climate change and for um, the climate change uh, many times it, it has happened many times over million million of years before us uh, humans arrived uh, on this planet and it will change uh, many times before the sun get, goes to a supernova and burns the planet. You all realize that the planet with Earth will burn uh, one day, right? And we can't control the sun, right? We can't do it, anything. And then, so why you, uh, why you would want to create a miserable world and lifestyle in an attempt to stop something from uh, happening is beyond me. So following science sounds great on a paper until you see what it means to to most people and they, and their life will live without freedom or uh, liberty. So uh, a lot of, uh, I would like to conclude conclusion that uh, why uh, we, we, we should not ban all production and consumption of meat is because number one, we can't feed everyone. We just uh, plant based food because we have uh, almost uh, 7.5 billion people in the world. And then, uh, uh, it will remove the wheels of the economies and uh, a lot of people uh, don't have job to live. And the three is mostly people can contribute to climate change. I think that's all for me. Thank you.